Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Steven, and if you don't know me already, I do RV renovations on this page, and I show you some how-to videos on when you wanna remodel your RV, or if you are fixing it. But today, I am refinishing a bathtub in this 1997 Fleetwood Wilderness, and I've done a few of these already. They're, they're kind of, they're simple if you know what you're doing, if you prep right, but I'm using Homax Toughest Tile, and these are aerosol cans, and I've usually used my spray gum, my airless sprayer, with a different kit, but today I'm gonna to use this kit, and we are gonna see how it turns out. So you are along for the ride. If you wanna know how to do it, I'm gonna explain a little more in just a second. Stay tuned. So the first thing you wanna do is prep really well, and I just got blue painter's tape, and I taped off the the sink there and taped off anything that I did not want to be painted because even with the aerosol cans you can't get exactly perfect and so make sure that you are taping off everything that you don't want paint on. So take your time on this, I'll speed up the So once everything is prepped, you will want a respirator or a mask. I recommend a respirator so that way um, the fumes and the dust are not getting into your lungs. This stuff is pretty gnarly. So make sure you got a respirator and gloves. So you're also going to use a tack cloth. And I get these from Home Depot. And this just removes all the dust and dirt before you start to paint. So the cans, um, the instructions say to shake for two full minutes, and so we're going to go ahead and do that. It's probably been sitting on the shelf for a while, so we want to make sure everything is well shook inside of the can, so that way all parts are ready to go. So once we're all done shaking it for two minutes, we are now going to test it on a small area, and this is important because there might be um, a clog in that tip. We want to make sure we spray in an area that we don't care about to make sure it is good to go. And like you saw, I took the tack cloth and just wiped it one more time to make sure the spray will adhere good to the sink. So I'm going to do it one more time with that tack cloth in the shower and then we'll get going. So I should have wore glasses here and I didn't have goggles. If you guys go pick up goggles, that'll make your life way easier. Your eyes won't burn. I think a couple times I got some, some of the spray in my eyes. It's probably not good for you, but this is what I got and I worked with it. So here doing the first couple sprays here and it doesn't need to be perfect guys the first coat you're just gonna spray it on and you'll kind of understand how it works but the second coat you're gonna be putting more on so the first coat don't worry about it if you missed a couple spots that's totally okay So as you can see right there, the two part, the white on top and the, the gross old look, 20 year old plastic bathtub in an RV, you can definitely tell the difference right there. So I would just shake it up every now and then just to make sure all the parts are fully mixed inside the can. I was really, really impressed with this kit. I used a different kit before and I used my airless sprayer to put it on, but this kit worked really, really well and I definitely give it a five star review. So 
So if you guys are curious exactly what kit I use, I will put it in the description below. And if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps me rank in YouTube search so other people can find this video too. And if you want to watch other videos of mine, you can subscribe. I do a lot of RV how-tos and renovations. So you guys feel free to hit that subscribe button. And so when I post other videos, you will be the first to see them. So I'm just going doing the second coat on the sink. They say wait at least 10 minutes to do the second coat. And so I waited 10 minutes. And do it no later than six hours. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. When I was spraying, I found out I did not buy white. I bought the cream color spray. So it didn't turn out exactly what I was thinking, but it actually worked really, really well. And I was really, really surprised how the aerosol cans turned out. So it was super easy to use. It's called Homax and you guys can buy it at Home Depot. I think Ace Hardware probably has it or the hardware store near you. It's a tub refinishing kit. and. I apologize for all the sporadicness when I was spraying. I was kind of going all over the place. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the first coat's a little, little better to be precise. The second coat, you can just fill in the gaps. So I appreciate you watching this video. If you hit the thumbs up button, it really, really helps me rank in other videos so other people can see this video. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will respond as soon as I can. And if you guys want to subscribe, I do more RV how-to videos like this one and you can join the family. Anyway, see you next time.